If you have been following my search for perch vlog, you will know that my catch rate to date has been dire, and that after four sessions and several hours on the river bank with the drop shot rod, I have failed to net a single perch. I needed to break this duck and quick smart, so it's time to do a bit of research and try to identify where I was going wrong and what I could do to rectify it. The first thing I did was to set aside my current collection of plastic lures and invest in some different ones and ones I was sure I could actually catch a perch on. After a bit of looking around the internet I ended up investing in some Fox Rage micro lures and the main reasons for this was because there are numerous catch reports using these lures as well as loads of video footage. As well as trying new lures I thought changing fishing methods may increase my catch rate too. I've solely been drop shotting for perch which clearly hasn't worked for me so I've made the decision to swap over to jigging instead. The only bit of fishing gear I didn't already own but needed for jigging was some jig heads which is pretty essential. There are loads of different jig heads on the market and the number of weight and hook size combinations can be baffling. Since I invested in the Fox Rage micro lures it made sense that I invested in the Fox Rage micro jig heads too. The micro jig heads are specifically designed to match the micro shads and grubs, therefore I won't have to worry about the hook shank being too long or too short, the hook gape too wide or narrow, or using the wrong size hook or weight for the lure. The Fox micro jig heads, as you'd expect, aren't the cheapest of jig heads on the market. In fact, the Fox micro jig heads are damn expensive compared to other jig heads, but they're good quality, and if they make micro jigging easier, less of a hassle and put a few perch in the landing net, these jig heads will be worth every penny, and some. My internet research suggests that micro jigging is a more successful way of catching perch and since I need to get some perch in the net, jigging is what I intend to do and I'm going to park the drop shot method for the time being. However, I do plan to try drop shotting again later in the season as I'm going to catch a perch with this method if it's the last thing I do. 